Global hazards are hazards that are found all over the world. So what are natural hazards? Well, natural just means something that's because of mother nature, nothing to do with humans. It would occur anyway. Hazards are things that are dangerous for people or could cause loss of life. So hazards are an extreme natural event that causes loss of life, damage to property and severe disruption to human activities. Examples of hazards could be things like earthquakes or volcanoes or tropical storms or drought or lightning or even something like a heat wave. Um, anything that's natural and can harm people. Now, when we're talking about natural hazards and their effects, we can classify them into primary effects and secondary effects. Primary effects are things that happen because of the hazard and secondary effects are things that happen because of the primary effects. So let's have a look at an example. Here, the hazard is an earthquake. The primary effect of the shaking of the ground is that the building has collapsed. So the building collapse is our primary effect. Now the secondary effect is something that happens because of the building collapse. So the secondary effect could be people die, or it could be something like um, having to claim lots of money on insurance, or it could be something like this road being cut off or blocked or closed um, as a result of the building collapsing. So in summary, we have earthquake, Primary effect is building collapse. Secondary effect is people die. Let us move on. Here, the hazard is a volcano erupting. Well, the primary effect happens because of the hazard, because of the volcano erupting. So in this case, the primary effect would be the ash and gas cloud that you can see. Now, the secondary effect happens because of the primary effect. So the secondary effect here could be aeroplanes not being able to fly. So we have the volcano erupting, leading to the ash cloud, leading to um, aeroplanes not being able to fly, people not being able to go on holiday and businesses losing lots of money. Let's have a look at another example. Here we've got a tropical storm which has produced huge amounts of torrential rain. Now the primary effect is the flooding that you can see um, and the road being closed. Well, so what? What's the effect of all of this flooding? Well, secondary effects would be people not being able to go to work, people not being able to go to school, the local economy losing lots of money. Now, in the exam, if you're asked to write about the effects of a natural hazard, then write about it where you say what the hazard is, then you say what the primary effect is, and then lead on to what the secondary effects are. If you're out to write about it like this, that's a very well-developed sentence, and this is leading to a top grade. Let's move on. Another natural of, um, hazard is drought. So the drought has occurred. The primary effect that you can see is cattle and farmers, animals dying. And then the secondary effect would be something like people going hungry and um, local economy suffering um, um, and starvation occurring. So here's an example of how you might write about it in the exam. Again, this is a very well-developed sentence which will give you a high mark. The drought causes the lack of rain in the region, which is the primary effect, leading to the death of farmers' cattle and a lack of food supplies in the local area, and that is the secondary effect. Here are four examples of natural hazards, and here are four definitions of what those natural hazards are.